What's going on guys? Welcome back to another episode. Today I got off work a little bit early. About to head to the house, pick up the wife and kids, and we're gonna go hit the beach. Gonna try over by the jetties in Orange Beach today, see what we can get on. This is gonna be the first time surf fishing in a little bit. Last week we had a ton of wind. Never could get out on the beach, so finally gonna make it back out there. Hopefully we can get on some good fish, but I will catch y'all when we get to the beach. Alright guys, first thing I'm gonna get over here by the jetties, see if I can find some sand fleas. We got a boat that didn't know what he was doing. Got stuck on the sandbar out here. Got sea towing everybody out here trying to figure it out. See if we still got a bunch of sand fleas hiding around over here. Got a few of them. Usually better than that over here. One more. Three of them. I don't know what's going on. There's usually a bunch of sand fleas over here. Let's see if we got some hanging out over here. Ooh. Got wet there. I didn't find a whole lot, but managed to get a few of them. Hopefully that'll help us find some pumping out today. All right, guys. This is y'all's first time seeing it, but I did buy the Temple Fork Outfitters tactical surf rod. It's the 11 foot medium light. This thing can freaking launch some bait. We're gonna start out. Salty made some new pompano rigs. On these, the sand flea rig. Go check out the sparkle on those floats. Got a little bit of sand fleas on there as well as a uh, sand flea fish gum. Go ahead and launch this first one out here. Feels like it's been a while since I've been surf fishing. We've had some terrible wind lately. Finally calmed down around here. Able to get back on the beach. Hoping to find some pompano today. All right. Next setup, we got the orange and white sand flea pompano rig with a little bit of green fish gum. Not gonna run a sand flea on this one. We're gonna do just fish gum, see how it'll do. I got a fish on this one. Okay. Pick it up with the guy next to me, but I do have a fish on here. Almost certain. I don't know, Kelton. So we got whatever it is, these are not really fighting a whole lot, so I'm not sure exactly what it is. It had the rod doubled over, that's for sure. We'll see what it is. Oh yeah, sand fleas. It looks like it might be a stingray. Yeah, I think it might be a stingray. Dang stingrays. Definitely not what I wanted. Come on. Just pulled the hook. The hook came out. Yep. There's a stingray. Cut somebody else's weight with it too. Alright. Had that rod in close. Put it back out there. Hopefully we find something other than a stingray. Another fish on here, guys. Got a fish on the uh, new TFO rod. Let's see what we got. You did it? What do you think we got? I think it's another stingray. I hope it's not. It's a pompano. You think it's a pompano? Let's see. I think it's a little shark. Ah, and it just broke off. Check it out. Y'all see that? Little bitty shark. Just broke one of my lines. Ah. We got a shark and a stingray. See if we can get that. 
Got my flow back. Definitely not what we're after today. We actually got something on here. There's actually something on that one. <laughs> see what we got. I didn't even know I had a fish on here. <laughs> I went to just get it out of your way and there's a fish on there. A speckled trout. Heck yeah. I was not expecting that. Speckled trout on a set rig. Is uh, 17 and a half inches. I was trying to just get the line out of the way from a kid swimming. Ended up being a speckled trout on there. Sweet. All right guys, welcome back to the house. We ended up coming out and catching a speckled trout. Not what I was expecting to catch on a set rig. Only the second time that I've caught one throwing out a pompano rig. So pretty cool. But anyways, we're gonna go ahead and show you how we cook them. All right, I did post a poll up here over on YouTube. Wanted to see how y'all wanted to see me cook this fish. I got this posted right here. Majority of y'all wanted to see me blacken this fish. So we got the speckled trout right here. What we're gonna use today is just a little bit of Tony's. In my opinion, Tony Satchery's is the best seasoning you can have. I did, so I cleaned this fish uh, yesterday, and so it has been soaking in some milk overnight. All right, we're gonna get, go ahead and do both sides of it here. I'm gonna Tony's on both sides. We're out of Tony's! <laughs> All right, we're not gonna do Tony's on both sides of that one because we're out. That's all right. We are gonna go in here. In the last video, y'all saw me use a little bit of ranch seasoning. We'll put a little bit of that on there too. Switch it up a little bit, try something different. Everybody throw some Tony's. We're just gonna rub the flavor in there. All right, guys, anytime you're gonna blacken the fish, gotta use old country crock. Brandon's finger butter there. Got a spoon here. We're just gonna take a nice dab of butter there. Put it in the pan. I got it on about medium, medium high heat. We're gonna let that butter melt in there. We're over here trying to film this catch and cook. Both of these kids are supposed to be asleep. Neither one of them want to. I'm sure all of you parents out there <laughs> battle the exact same thing. <laughs> Neither one of them want to go to sleep. They just want to fight over everything. But that's part of it. We love them anyways. Squash the very bread. You turned it off? Bro, it was... You turned it off? It was flaring. What was I supposed to I do? I thought we were doing a catch and cook. No, it was a catch and cook, but it was burning. I didn't want to burn your freaking butter. You literally turned the stove off. I did, because I was scared. <laughs> and you didn't tell me? I, um, well, maybe this is the scene that we cut before we show anybody. We don't, we're not cutting this. <laughs> no, we're not. <laughs> well, we're literally doing a catch and cook. <laughs> I had to go cut, put my kid back to the bed, and you turned the stove off. I was scared. It's not even on. What I'm was like, I supposed to do? I'm like, the, it kind of Did you hot. want me to melt your butter? Yeah, I did. I wanted to let you keep it going. I, yeah, I was counting on you to have the oil or butter heating up, but when I went to put the kids to bed, I come back, we get ready to cook, and you got the stove off. I, what are you doing? I, I tried. I did try. Cook, I did try. You got a cameraman. I, I, I watched <laughs> over you a little bit at least. Now that we got some butter finally heating up, because Freddie messed it up, we got a little bit of ranch seasoning. Always the Tony Satchery's. And we're gonna get these babies on the skillet. Ooh, yeah. Got that little one that gets no love. All right, it's looking like it's about time to flip this fish. Give it a little flip here. Dude, that is smelling amazing. God, that's looking good. I might even let Freddy try that. 
Maybe. All right, guys, this fish is done. We're gonna go ahead and pull it. It is looking freaking amazing. Tell me that doesn't look good. We're gonna go ahead and turn the stove off like you do when you're done cooking, cause I was in the middle of cooking some I, fish. I tried. I came back. No, I tried to the help you. The stove was off. No, you didn't help. No, that, that you was helping the stove you. Off. What? That's what I tried to do, cause the better the butter was melting. The butter's supposed to melt, Freddy. <laughs> All right, y'all. Comment down below. Let Freddy know you got to let the butter melt before you cook the fish. The stove is off. The fish is cooked. Me and Freddy are about to try it. We'll see how it turned out. All right, guys, we just finished and blacking up this speckled trout. We're gonna see how it turned out. We're gonna let Freddy actually eat for once. I'm Cheers. scared. Cheers. Scared? I'm scared. Holy crap. Wow. Can I have this? It's so tender. Is this Black. your first time eating speckled trout? Blackened, yes. Yeah. What's the other way you've had it? Fried? Fried, yeah. yeah. Wow. Pretty good? That's off the chart. You'd eat it again? I would do it again. Maybe once every year when I'm allowed to eat. But yeah, I would. <laughs> I think it turned out pretty damn mm. good. Tony Satchery's is always on point. All of y'all commented down on that poll. Wanted to see us black in this fish. Highly I think that was a pretty good choice. I, I, did, I think that was good. For the speckled trout, I, I highly recommend it. Blacken is the way to go with the Tony Sasseries on it. You know what would be interesting though? Remember that Cajun batter you use with the flour? That'd be interesting. Like the crawfish bowl yeah, or yeah. yeah. As a blackening season? As a blackening season, exactly. And that's where probably people in the comments would go crazy. What are you using a blackening season for? That'd be interesting. All right, guys, that fish turned out absolutely phenomenal. Of course, the Tony Satchery's, a little bit of the Hidden Valley Ranch seasoning. It is always good. Made a pretty good piece of fish. Freddy actually liked it. He didn't eat a whole lot of fish, but he enjoyed it too. So hope you all enjoyed that video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. It helps me out a ton. Click this video right over here. Check out one of my other Catch and Cooks. Y'all will like that one. Uh, but if you're not already subscribed, please do so now. Until next time, y'all take care. care.